Hi, I'm Megan McGuffey, and I am the Executive Director of Community Crop. Uh, we are a 501c3 nonprofit here in Lincoln, Nebraska, and our mission is to provide education, advocacy, and experiences to grow local food. So we do that a few different ways. Uh, our most well-known program in Lincoln is our Community Gardens. It's also our longest running program. So we manage 11 sites across the city, and we have a fees based on a sliding scale basis. So 70% of our gardeners are low to moderate income and 45% uh, of our gardeners are immigrants and refugees. So we really just want to make growing food accessible to everyone in our community because we think healthy food, good food, food that fits your cultural traditions should be a basic right for everybody. Uh, in addition to our garden program, we've got a five acre training farm where we help people launch their farm businesses. And in particular, right now, we're really proud of our Yazidi Farmers Project. So this is a, a large refugee population here in Lincoln. Many of them have great agricultural backgrounds and they're now applying those skills here in the U.S. and kind of building the cultural food shed of their community back up by growing products that they couldn't find before here in town, which has been really cool to see. Um, and then we also do education for all ages. So we, we teach little tiny kids, toddlers, how to grow some of their own food and try food from the garden and, and have a healthier life in that way. And then we provide classes on uh, gardening, cooking, and sustainable living topics for all ages. And then our kind of final bucket of work is that we do vegetable sales and that's again to kind of bridge the, the feeding people and also helping farmers. So. We uh, go to farmers markets and we have our Union Bank and Trust uh, veggie van and that's all. People using SNAP and double up food bucks to buy fresh healthy produce uh, and we're purchasing that directly from our beginning farmers to help them build their business. So that's Community Crops in a nutshell and we really appreciate your support. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, well, I have a few questions for you too. Um, one of them is how long have you been involved with community crops? Yeah, so uh, I started as a volunteer back probably 10 years ago almost now and I, I was a gardener and I just really loved getting involved and I've been on the board for the last six years and then here for the last seven months I've now been executive director. So. A long time just really loving the mission of this organization and being excited to grow local food in Lincoln. Oh, that's great. I didn't know you'd been on the board that, you know, that whole time. And I knew that you'd been the executive director for almost a year now, not quite, <laughs> but you started in the spring of 2019. I started December, December of 2019. So okay. yeah, it's been quite a journey as a new executive right? director, but no, definitely a time where I think people are really feeling the value of pieces. So yeah, it's, it's a great time to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I was really interested to hear more about the uh, kids programs too. I didn't know that you uh, did training for the kids. Yeah, yeah, we, we um, do a variety of things over time. So right now we're working directly with Cedars. And so we are teaching classes starting with toddlers up to five year olds every week. And they, they have their own garden boxes and they're doing lots of great stuff. And the chef there is really great in, about incorporating things from the garden into food so the kids can try it. So that's been really fun. And we'll actually have some of their artwork on display about vegetables at the office for the next couple of weeks at 11th and B. Uh, and yeah, besides that, we work in a variety of fashions. So we help uh, create or run a lot of the, the LPS school gardens initially in Lincoln. And we've helped a lot of other child care centers get gardens started. So although we don't manage those sites, we're always very interested in how to we grow and expand young so that's something that we're always looking for new and creative approaches at. yeah that's cool I I knew about the training uh, gardens too um, but I I wasn't aware that you had specific groups that you work with so sorry that's Gina I think there's an internet lag I keep losing you <laughs> yeah, yeah sorry I was just gonna say I knew about the training gardens but I wasn't aware that you um, you know had specific 
um, groups that you worked with. And I think that's really cool that you have a group of Yazidi farmers that you're working with specifically. Do they have a, uh, you said you went to farmer's market yeah. sometimes. Do they have a booth then, like at the Haymarket farmer's market or? Yeah, so our big one this season has been at the F Street Market on Tuesday nights, but they just ended their regular season. And we're at the Sunday Market kind of twice a month, basically. So we okay. won't be there this weekend, but um, we'll be there a couple of dates in October. And, and then we also have a storefront at 11th and D, so you can also just come into our office. Um, masks required, lots of good safety protocols, and you can get your fresh veggies. You do office. have a market at 11th and B? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then how how do we find out where the van is going to be? Uh, this year, the van is mostly at the farmer's markets, just, uh, but it will be at Hub Cafe this weekend. There's going to be a great performance, and the chef there is using some of the UZ farmers' um, ingredients to make dishes. So that'll be a great event this Saturday at 5 o'clock. Um, and other than that, you can just check out our website. We'll keep it updated. but. There's not as many big community events this year, but we're finding ways to get out there uh, as we can and as it's safe. Sure. Yeah, it has to be a challenge right now. What is the website? It's communitycrops.org. Oh, that's simple. <laughs> that's great. Well, I, you know, I was curious too about your background in food. You have a, um, a degree that's related, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, I started out focusing on public administration and that's still the area I'm working on, but uh, I've really started with a love of local government and all the change that people can affect at the community level. And now I've taken those skills into the realm of food policy and uh, food policy networks. So how can we make transformative change at the local level? And that's something Crops is really interested in too, is just understanding there's a lot we can do at this level to rebuild a healthy vibrant food system and so that's where my research has been and really about coalitions and building bridges and how do we get everyone moving in the same direction with the diverse needs in the food system to make positive change sure yeah that's exciting well it sounds like you're in the right place right now for your <laughs> your desires your passions so that's yes exciting. i yeah, I feel really lucky to be there. It's an awesome staff and it's just so cool to see what all the gardeners and farmers are able to do. And if you're looking for something fun to do right now when it's hard to be doing indoor activities, come visit the Community Crops Garden. The list is on our website and check out all the cool stuff people are doing. It's, it's always a great experience. Great. Well, we really appreciate you being with us today. Um, we were excited that Community Crops was chosen as one of the Share the Plate recipients for this year. And we will um, let everybody know about it and, and send people your way for sure. Thank you, we really appreciate the support. Nice to see everyone. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today. Thanks.